Welcome to the BBX Mather Show. Today in the shadow of where the Broncos play football, the new coolest place in Denver, Meow Wolf. My name is Brandon Bishop, and for years I've been crossing the nation in search of fun and adventure. I never know where I'm gonna end up next, but I know it'll be awesome. Welcome to the BB Ox Nazar Show. How does one explain the epic, immersive art attractions known as Meow Wolf? But no word seems to entirely describe what Meow Wolf is. So I'm here with Aaron at Meow Wolf. This is my first Meow Wolf experience, so what should I expect inside? So Meow Wolf has three locations, and each one is an immersive art experience. So instead of going into a museum where you just look at art, when you step inside of Convergence Station, it's actually an entire world where you can interact with everything. It's kind of like being inside of a movie. Um, and in this one in particular, there are actually four worlds that you will get to explore. Four? Mm -hmm. So this is the third location. You have Santa Fe, you have New Vegas. Why Denver? Well, um, the people at Meow Wolf, um, for their third and largest installation, really put a lot of thought into moving to Denver. Um, they just came back a few times, and each time they were just really plugged into the artist community. We have so many artists here, um, and so it's reflected in the space. We actually have 110 local artists that worked on this, um, and it's just a really thriving art scene, and just everything converged in the perfect way for uh, this place to be here. So Santa Fe is a house, Las Vegas is a supermarket. What is Convergence Station? So Convergence Station um, is kind of a transit hub. It is actually the quantum department of transportation. So it's kind of a transit station when you walk in. However, the transit station acts as a hub to the four different worlds um, that you can explore. It's been called Sensory Overload. It's a living, breathing video game. It's a mystery adventure. It's a carnival, an art gallery. It's simple, organized insanity. This is my first Meow Wolf experience, so I cannot wait to find out what the Convergence Station here in Denver is all about. They say that this elevator is a portal to another dimension. I can't wait to see what's waiting on the fourth floor. And so please refer to the M line, E line, and the quantum stairwell to return home. Thank you all so much for joining us today. Make some new memories. Don't forget your old ones. No problem. So this is C Street. Um, it's one of our four converged worlds. Um, C Street used to be the sanitation district from the planet of immensity. And because of that, you'll notice there's kind of a trashy, chic feel here. Um, the residents of C Street are very distrustful of politicians. And for that reason, they have voting every single 20 minutes um, where you can elect a new mayor. Um, and yeah, you can see it's kind of just like a very um, bustling cityscape to explore. Everything here you can get inside of and play with and touch and interact with. Um, so Rocket Car is very popular with the kids. We have a cyber cafe, Miho Miho, and we have a movie theater. C Street is mind-bending, but it's just the start. We've only begun exploring. interactive concession bot and um, you can take your card and scan it and he'll uh, say some really interesting things to you. He looks like a normal concession bot but if you look closely at this popcorn it's actually teeth. Because <laughs> there's always a weird twist on everything at Yellow. It's actually 
actually um, where we sell local artists' art. Um, so it's our way of staying interactive with the local artist community. And um, right now our first featured artist is called Lumonix. They do light art. Um, so this is the one place, like the guy on the tram was saying, this is the one place where you can't touch the art. <laughs> so what is your job here? Oh, well, my job here is to give the many earthers that come and buy their predictions of the present and the future, and also just to help them along their journey. Some of them are rather confused and don't understand what they're doing here. Walking around and filming this show is fun, but I plan on staying for a while. Not only is it an amazing place to catch the sights and sounds, but there's a story here, a mystery to solve, and I plan on cracking the Meow Wolf code. I see a bunch of instruments up there. How do we play them? So this is called Gremlin Symphony, and actually the instruments, they play on their own. Um, and they are programmed so that they actually just play different things all the time. And we think that maybe in the future we'll be able to have special guests here who can kind of program them in their own very unique ways. Um, you'll also notice on the walls, because we're still in the sanitation district of Immensity, um, and so there's actually trash everywhere. <laughs> um, these are all signs from all over Denver, and even the trash that's in the ground here is trash that we picked up from this neighborhood, so it's hyper-local here. Alright, are you ready to go to a new world? Uh, yeah. Alright, let's go. So this is Numina. And Numina is actually a six-dimensional bio-organism. Um, all of the life that you see in here is kind of part plant, part animal, just a very, um, it's like an alien habitat that is allowing humans inside of it so that it can study us. This is Glowy. My tour guide Erin is super cool. I'm lucky to have her show me around this 90,000 square foot monster. Yet after the tour, I'm looking forward to getting just lost in Convergent Station. If you don't hear from me in a few hours, give me another few hours. Portals and clues in Bloom stations and insanity. You can come here daily for a year and still not see everything. So where are we now? So this world is called Emia. Um, it's been stuck in an ice age for years. Um, and so you can see everything here is very frozen. And what we're looking at, this huge structure is called the Kaleidogothic Cathedral. And we're going to go inside of it soon, and you're going to be able to rotate the spires on your own. Like I said before, I'm a character in an actual video game, hopping around looking for hints to solve a puzzle. I think it'll take a few more visits to beat this game. If so this one is crazy. You ready?
Um, it's just kind of like a world within Ossuary. Um, and the people that live here are called Undermallers. So um, they are kind of like this street gang that worships um, this rat guy. And um, you can actually play this rat game where they're like, it's like Rock'em Sock'em. It's really fun. that I wrote actually about the haunted wind chimes one day. So, life and death live here. Haunted wind chimes sing to us, souls are never lost. Thank you. Those are the haunted wind chimes. Yep, those are the haunted wind chimes. Well, right here we got the jingle jungle, uh, jingle strength. They're very loud, so you gotta make sure you want it very hot when you put them in. My personal favorite is the glitter guts. They also have a very popular eyeballs of all colors. Um, today's special is from Earth. It's pink, but only the inside. I'm not sure what this is, but I know if you fry it, it'll probably be delicious because everything tastes better for all. If you're a little kid, you'll love this place. If you're my age, you'll definitely love this place. Actually, any ages between baby and 100 years old, you'll love this place. It's also a workout. Be prepared to get your steps in and break a sweat. Let's go check it out. <laughs> Meow Wolf in Denver is whatever you want it to be. Come with no expectations because even after watching this show, you'll never imagine what it's like in there. I've only given you a quick look in short clips of the hours I spent exploring, discovering, and appreciating everything. With locations in Las Vegas and Santa Fe as well, Meow Wolf is blowing minds across the nation. Are you ready to experience Meow Wolf? No, no one is ready, but just do it. Wow, that was awesome. Total sensory overload. Find the nearest Meow Wolf near you. I'm not asking, I'm telling you. Look it up, do whatever you have to do. I'm telling you to go there. Thank you for watching the BBX Magic Show. We'll see you next time.